In this episode, we look at symmetry. Hi, boys and girls. Welcome back. In this lesson, we will associate symmetry with reflection. Identify the mirror line as being a line of symmetry and identify the possible lines of symmetry in geometric shapes and objects. Now, what is a line of symmetry? A line of symmetry is an imaginary line that divides a figure in half. So you're not going to see this line out there on a flower or butterfly. But if we apply this imaginary line, we'll be able to cut the figure in half. If you fold a figure along a line of symmetry, both sides match. Now, this is important. Both sides must match. Symmetry is found in nature, in art, in common objects, in letters, and more. Symmetry is also referred to as mirror image. If you can reflect or flip a figure over a line and the figure appears unchanged, then the figure has reflection. Again, if you can flip the figure over a line, then the fig and the figure appears to be unchanged, then we say that it has reflection or reflection symmetry. The line that you reflect over is called the line of symmetry. A line of symmetry divides a figure into two mirror image halves. There are three lines of symmetry. Vertical lines of symmetry, horizontal lines of symmetry, and diagonal lines of symmetry. An object that is not symmetrical is said to be asymmetrical. So the dashed lines below are lines of symmetry. So all of these lines will divide the figure or shape here into halves. Okay, so they will fold over each other and there'll be no overlap or anything like that. The dashed lines below are not lines of symmetry. They do not create mirror image halves right observe the following pictures and circle the ones that are symmetrical put an x over the one which is asymmetrical i think the butterfly is symmetrical if we pull a line a vertical line we could fold the butterfly that way um i think that this is also symmetrical we could get multiple lines of symmetry out of this one, I think if we cut it this way, we might get one. We could possibly get two here and so on. This one looks like if we go this way, we could get a line of symmetry here. So if we go horizontal, we could get a line. Looks like if we go this way and split this right down, we could get one here. Don't see any diagonal lines here. So this is a vertical line, no horizontal. This vertical and horizontal, and this one would be vertical and horizontal. All right, so it says here, explore. Draw the line or lines of symmetry in the following letters of the alphabet. Then write the number of lines of symmetry on the line beneath. So you're gonna do this. You're going to look at this. For example, let's look at E. Now, I can't see any vertical line of symmetry, meaning I can cut it into halves with a vertical line. However, I can see a horizontal line. So if I go right through the center here, I could fold this and have two equal parts. Okay, so I see one line there. All right. And you continue with all the other letters of the alphabet explain look around in your classroom or at home and make a list of symmetrical and asymmetrical objects and compare the list with a friend is the dotted line on each shape a line of symmetry write yes or no number one that looks yes if we fold this over i don't think so you know because if I fold this, this little piece is going to stick out over there. You see like how this one would fold and touch here. So it would be, you know, a mirror image. 
I doubt that this one will fold over like that. Mm, don't think this will fold over either. This looks like a mirror image. So this point will map or match exactly on that point. But this point, when we fold it over the line, when we come over here, it won't touch this one. Symmetry in geometric shapes. So here we have an isosceles triangle has one line of symmetry. So we have this vertical line. This point can come here. Rectangle, two lines of symmetry. So we can come vertical and horizontal. Equilateral triangle has three lines of symmetry. One line, two lines, three lines. Okay, now you're going to see one, two, three, four, five, six points. Please remember that a line continues in both directions forever. So this is one section of the line going on. This is another section of the same line. So this is one point here, two, and three. And these continue in those directions, right? Then a square has four lines of symmetry. So we have one, two, three, four. Okay. So one continues here. So we can count that again. This one continues here. We can count that again. So we have two. And this would be three. And this would be four. So if we continue to count around here, then we're going to be counting the same line more than once. Now, parallelogram has no line of symmetry and circles have infinite lines of symmetry. So we could cut it, once we're going through the center, that is, we could cut it forever and we will get lines of symmetry. All right? Engage. Discuss with a partner the following question. Have you ever seen your own reflection in water? And here we have the, the bird and we see the reflection. And there's a story uh, that goes with, with this idea of the reflection. There's a story about the greedy dog. Now a dog was going home. He had a bone in his mouth. He saw another dog looking at him with an even bigger bone. And he tried to attack the dog and lost his own bone because he saw his own reflection in the water. And because of his greed, he lost what he had. So it says here now, evaluate, complete these shapes to show the line of symmetry. So if we have this here, then we would need to what create another half on this side. Same length, same width, that will match this one. Same thing with the triangle here. And we'll have to do the same here and here. Because remember that this line creates what? One half. So to complete it, we would need to create the other half. So this is a video, alphabet reflection symmetry. And you were given a task earlier to look at the letters of the alphabet and work out which ones had lines of symmetry. So I'm going to play a little piece of this video and you're going to look at it so you get an idea of what you can do. Then I'm going to leave the link to the full video in the description below so you can watch that on your own time and complete the activity as stated. So let's go with that. Okay, in this video we're looking at capital letters that have reflection symmetry. And for those that do, we want to describe all the lines of symmetry. So we'll start actually by looking at the letter H. And that's one example of a letter that has two lines of reflection symmetry. And the idea is that you could fold the letter right over this vertical line and you'll get an exact image on both sides. You can also do so on the horizontal line. But to see this in action and to understand what we mean by folding and looking at reflection symmetry, I'm going to pull up this GeoGebra um, program that I pulled up. And there's lots of great stuff with GeoGebra. Here's just one that someone else put together. Here, what you do is you, you have the line of symmetry and you line it up. And once you have this vertical line, you can see that the shape will fold over that piece. And the important part is that we get an exact match when we fold it. If the match is exact here, 
then we have a line of symmetry. Now the letter H has two lines of symmetry and we're just showing one right here. Right? This is a vertical line of symmetry and also I'm sure you can imagine uh, it having the horizontal line of symmetry right here. So we can say that the letter H has two lines of symmetry. Going from there I think it's easy to to work through the letters imagining how these things would fold. So if we look at the letter A, right? the letter A if I drew it perfectly, of course, you would see this vertical line of symmetry. It doesn't have a horizontal line of symmetry because you can't fold it that way. Um, the letter B, right, here it has this horizontal line of symmetry, but not a vertical line. And in, in this... Okay, so we're going to stop there. And I'm leaving the link in the description so you can finish this video and complete that task. Now we go to the GeoGebra website that was mentioned in the previous video. I found this activity here and it asks us to draw lines of symmetry. So let's look at that. Let me maximize this. And we have our line segment that we're going to use here. Now I think a line of symmetry can go here. Okay. This would be a diagonal line of symmetry. So I want to pull this line there. This looks like a horizontal line of symmetry could go through here. Okay. Let me try this one again. I think a line could go right to the center here. Let's see if we can move this over a little bit. Something like that. Okay. I think we could put one to the center here as well. And another one could go through here. So now let's check our answers. So see, it shows here that we're pretty close. Okay. Check our answers here. Again, pretty close. Again, pretty close. We would need to, you know, make that perfect. So we get the general idea and we're looking for the lines of what symmetry, how we could fold the shape or figure in half so that we get equal parts on both sides of the line. All right, guys. So in this episode, we were looking at lines of symmetry. It's important to remember that a line of symmetry divides a figure into two mirror image halves. Okay, and that we have lines of symmetry that are vertical, horizontal, and diagonal. And if an object has a line of symmetry, then we consider that to be symmetrical. And if things do not have lines of symmetry, then they are asymmetrical. Now guys, go ahead, watch that video, and complete the activities that were given. Take care. I'll see you in the next episode.